uh, one reason why people will allow, uh, uh, will fall victim and not die as the righteous die is because they are not fighting as they ought to fight. You got to fight. Mm. Saints of God, we got to fight. Amen. Single saints, you got to fight the devil. Young people, you got to fight. I don't care if it's just one or two. Amen. You got, you got to fight the devil. Yes, Amen. This is this is uh, your salvation not predicated on who's with you or who's not here. Amen. Right. Who's there? Right. Oh, amen. Yeah. Your salvation is predicated on you and God alone. Amen. All this buddy, buddy. Oh, this amen. my friend and that. No, my God, you got to get an experience with God for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. This, we, we're in a day and age. Amen. You got to have God. You got to know God for yourself. Right. Amen. All this. Amen. Uh, uh, going along with this thing or that thing. My God, you got to have a relationship with God. Right. I'm fighting. What, what do you mean by fight? The Bible says over in Revelation chapter number 12 that there was war in heaven. Mm -hmm. not, not where God is, y'all know. Yes. No, 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 no. But there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Mm -hmm. And the dragon and his angels fought. But I like what the next part said. What did it say? And, and thank you. And prevailed not. Saints of God, you gotta fight and you gotta keep fighting until the enemy is disarmed. Yes, That's right. Yes, yes, yes. More. Mm. More. Mm. I, I pray you get this. You gotta fight and war against the devil yes. until he is disarmed. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by disarmed? Until whatever he's coming with has no more no effect, effect on you at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it don't bother me no more. Are right, y'all hearing me this morning? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta listen. Michael and his angels, there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought and prevailed not. And prevailed not. Neither, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Okay, who's in heaven? The Bible says when we got saved, he, he, he uh, made us to sit together in heavenly, heavenly places. places. Right. Amen. The Bible says let your conversation be where? In heaven. In, heaven. Uh -huh. uh, in other words, we as saints of God, we are now dwelling in heaven. Spiritual place. And so when the devil tries to come and invade your mind, mm -hmm. when he tries to come and affect you, amen, you got to war against him until he has no more ability to affect your mind at all yes. about that situation. Of course, we know he's going to come back with another situation. But what he came with this morning, I got before God. I rebuked the devil. I stayed on my knees until the devil was disarmed. And when I came to church, I didn't come with the devil only. I didn't come discouraged. Come I didn't come depressed. I came encouraged because I got the devil off my back. Amen. You got to fight the devil. Too many people are not, they're, they're not fighting. I can see it. I can see it in their eyes, and you can hear it in their, te well, you can, you can see it because they, they, they're lacking in their testimony. Their testimonies are not ringing like they used to. You know why? Because they're not fighting like they ought to. Let me tell you something. When you have fought like you ought to fight, you will have a testimony. Amen. When you will have come and give glory to God. My God, saints of God, the enemy been war, but my God, amen, I've been getting the victory over the devil. My God, the devil's trying to bring me down. Not careful, man. The devil, he's been warned and fighting. They walked away with people's testimonies. Amen. They don't remember the last time they had a, a good, amen, fiery, amen, hot testimony, amen, uh, uh, to share with the saints about what God is doing and how they've been overcoming the devil. You know why? Because they're not fighting. Mm -hmm. They're not fighting. Mm -hmm. They're not fighting. And Paul said, not only was I fighting, but I was fighting a good fight. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, Paul, fighting a good fight? Over in 1 Corinthians chapter number 9, he says, so fight I, not as one that what? Be the yeah. yeah. In other words, I'm not just going through, I'm not just swinging just to be swinging. No, amen, I'm making a count. My God, when is my fast day? My God, I'm getting before God. I'm shutting everything out. Amen, I'm, I'm tuning in. I'm locking in on what I need for God. Amen, what I'm fasting for. When I fight, I make it count. My God, when I come to church, I'm not just sitting on a pew. Yeah. 
have to know this church of God. If we are going to die as the righteous die, number one, we got to fight a good fight. <laughs> you got to fight a good fight, church. Man. Yes, sir. Are you fighting a good fight this morning? Yes, yeah, come on, brother. Man. Or are you allowing the enemy to get the advantage of you? Mm -hmm. And so here in 2 Timothy, Paul said he was talking to Timothy as he was closing his remarks. He let him know, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. Now, number two, how are we going to die the death of the righteous church? Lord, help us. How are we going to die the death of the righteous isn't that our golden aim this morning? Amen. Isn't it saints? Amen. Amen, saints. Amen. Our endeavor by the grace of God is to die the death of the righteous. Amen. Not to die as a fool died. Amen. When, amen, you could have uh, uh, successfully overcome the devil, but you did not do what you ought to have done. That's why I believe, I skipped over it, but I believe it was Paul that said over in Ephesians 6, he said, have you done all to stand? stand. In other words, Lord, I'm doing all that I know to do. Yeah. I'm not going to die as a fool die. I'm, I'm not going to go out of here, amen, and, and my testimony has been marred. Mm. Amen, I'm going to go out of here, amen, and people, amen, they got question marks on them. My God, did they even, oh, uh, where, where did, my God, I don't know. I don't know where they, where they landed at. Pre the preaching on uh, uh, pre preaching on on on, on some, something uh, way off uh, in, in in La La Land somewhere, rather than talking about the individual that's in the coffin. Why? Mm. I, I don't know where they went. They didn't leave out of here with honor. Mm. They left out of here with disgrace. They left out of here as a fool died. Mm. Oh, but Paul said, "How, Timothy? Do I know?" I'm going to die as a, as a righteous die. Number one, I fought a good fight. Yes. Number two, I have finished my course. Saints of God, I'm, I'm giving this to you, but I pray you take it this morning. If you are going to die the death of the righteous, you got to finish your course. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? you got to finish your assignment. Yes, my Lord. you got an assignment, church. There is something that God has for you. There is something on your plate. There is something that he has for you to accomplish. There is a will that, that must be performed in your life. Amen. And God is there. Amen. You must accomplish. You must finish. You must do as I have told you to do. you got to finish your course. And listen, as I was meditating and thinking about this, what I felt the Lord was saying was you got to finish your assignment even though your assignment doesn't seem pleasant. Mm, true. Even though your assignment doesn't feel good sometimes. It's true. And that's the problem. My Lord. Most people don't like to suffer. True. Most people don't like to wait. Mm, true. Most people don't have spiritual patience. Mm. And rather than endure their trial of affliction, rather than endure the pain and the difficulty what they're going through, they jump ship, they bail out, they say, you know what, it's too difficult, things are too hard, I'm going to uh, uh, do something differently. And be not careful what happened, they didn't finish their course. Mm -hmm. Finishing your course is not something that's always pleasant. The Bible says, take up your cross and follow me. In other words, there's going to be some suffering that we may have to go through. Right. There may be some pain. Amen. There may be some situations you're in that you don't prefer to be in. But that doesn't give you an excuse, amen, to change course and to do something contrary to the will of God. If this is my course, if this is where God wants me to be, then i got to finish the course. i got to finish the assignment that God has given me. And if I don't finish the assignment, if you're not careful, then I'm not going to die as the righteous die. Why? Because the righteous, they, they finish their course. Whatever God has, I, I finish it. Amen. What God has started me on, amen, I finish it. Amen. The course, the direction, the way he is uh, guiding and leading me, by the grace of God. Lord, if you give me grace, I'll, I'll, I'll take that course. <laughs> Do I like the course? I may not like the course. <laughs> Do I like the way that God, amen, the way that God has uh, taken my life, amen, the things i got to deal with? I may not like it, but at the end of the day, if this is the course that God has for me, if I'm going to die, amen, the death of the righteous, i got to finish my course. Amen. amen. Yes, sir. That's true. Paul prayed three times. 
that the thorn would be taken away. And the Lord said, my grace is sufficient, is sufficient for thee, Paul. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> In other words, course, uh, uh, Paul, this is the course that I have for you. This is the, the, the plan. This is the way that I want you to go. There was a saint that I spoke with not too long ago. They said, Brother Mark, I've been dealing with this affliction, dealing with this problem. And I said, have the Lord showed you his will and what he would have for you to do? Or how this affliction, uh, he, he's working with you, this affliction? And they began to express some things. But here's the reality, saints of God. Sometimes we might be dealing with something and this is the course that God has for us. Mm -hmm. We may not get delivered out of every situation in this life. That's right. <laughs> uh, we are going to be delivered from all of our afflictions and all of our trials, but the, the deliverance may not all come in this life. Mm -hmm. You follow? Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. you got to finish your course. That's right. Yes. Saints of God, and that's where, Lord help us, you'll find that there's those that somewhere along the way when God showed them the course, when God showed them, amen, the direction that he would have for them to take, they said, you know what? No, that's too much. That's too much. And if you're not careful, they're not, they're not going to die if the righteous die. That was number two. Number one was, you got to fight. Paul said, I fought a good fight. Number two, he said, I'll finish my course. What's number three? I have kept the faith. Oh, church, Lord help us. He said, I kept the faith. Hallelujah to God. I kept the faith. Amen. In other words, I didn't back up on, the, on this gospel. I didn't back up on any conviction that God showed me. I didn't back up on anything that God revealed to me. Amen. All the truths. Amen. What it meant to live holy. Amen. To be sanctified. To be filled with the spirit of God. Amen. I didn't back up. Amen. Everything. Amen. Uh, all the truths of God's holy word. Lord, help us. We're in a day and age where people think that they can back up on the gospel. They can change the word of God. Amen. What uh, the brother stood. Amen. What God confirmed. Amen. Years ago, even back with the apostles, all of a sudden now they think they can deviate from the truths of God's word and still be acceptable with God. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. It don't work that way. That's right. Paul said the third thing, if you want to die the death of the righteous, amen, you must keep the faith. <laughs> keep the faith. Yeah. Amen. That's an old song the choir you sing, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Amen. I know he'll do just what keep he said faith. if you only, yeah. amen, keep the faith. And church of God, Lord help us, we got to keep the faith. I don't care who deviates, who changes, amen, who says, you know what, I'm going to go to a lesser gospel. Amen. I don't want to be under that sound gospel. Amen. You got to decide by the grace of God. Amen. I'm going to keep the faith. Yes. Amen. I believe it was Jude that said, amen, uh, it was needful for me to write unto you to exhort you that you should earnestly contend mm. for, the faith. for the faith right. which was once delivered mm. unto the saints. There's only one faith. There's only one faith. Amen. And listen, uh, as, as uh, I was telling the saints, many times people think, well, you know what? Well, as long as they have m the majority of what they have is truth, then, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. There's no such thing. Right. There's only one truth. It's all of them. That's right. And that's the whole truth. And if you take any part of truth, mm -hmm. twist it, mm -hmm. deviate from it, cut it out, mm -hmm. change it, amen, uh, supplant it with something else. It no longer is truth. Right. I don't care if all other 99% of it is so-called truth. If that 1% is error, then the whole thing is error. That's right. God help us, saints of God. That's why, amen, uh, by the grace of the living God, I intend to contend, amen, for this gospel. Amen. Why? Because there's only one faith. And if we are going to die the death of the righteous, we got to keep the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Amen. And Paul said, I have fought a good fight, number one. I have finished my course. I finished my course, number two. I have kept the faith. Number three, he said, I kept the faith. Mm -hmm. the, the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Salvation from all sin. Sanctification. Amen. In the spirit. My God. Amen. Living holy blamelessly before God. Amen. Shunning the worldliness. Amen. Shunning, shunning all the things of amen of, of, of this life. Amen. That would take me, amen, back into that world of sin. My God, I have kept the faith. 
And then he stopped in. What else did he say? Henceforth, henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Yes. And not to me only, yes. but unto all them also yes. that love his appearing. Let me give you a, uh, just a fourth thing. The first thing is you got to fight. The second thing is you got to finish your course. The third thing is you got to keep the faith. But number four, you got to stay faithful. Yeah. Yes. As we spoke yesterday, even concerning some surely, she's a faithful saint of God. Mm -hmm. so you got to stay faithful. Mm -hmm. Don't lose your faith in the saints of God. Don't lose your steadfastness. Amen. The enemy, he would love to shift the people of God right near the end. Right near the end. He would love to bring so much pressure. Amen. Make a person feel like, you know what? It's just too much. No. By the grace and help of God, stay faithful. You got to fight. You got to finish. You got to keep the faith. And you got to remain faithful. Revelation chapter number two. Familiar verse of scripture, but we'll read. Iter reiterated in your hearing Revelation chapter number 2 this morning I want us to recognize that a fool dies with no honor a fool dies in disgrace a fool dies having lost their testimony they lost their good name question marks all around their experience. You're dying as a fool die. Why? Because you knew the gospel. You knew the trickeries of the enemy. But you yourself fell victim to it. And you say, you know what, Abner? David just shook his head. As he walked behind that coffin, he just shook his head and lamented. Abner, dying like a fool dying, man? Mm-hmm. He was, he was actually almost, he was talking to the, to, to the, to, to the course, and of course, uh, uh, I mean, Abner, Abner, how you go out like this, man? You knew better. You understood this gospel. You can reiterate the gospel to others. But how did you go out like this, man? Abner, it was not a statement, it was a question mark. Right, right. Diet? Thanks to God. That's the question mark in my mind. Mm -hmm. As I see what people are doing, as I see the attitude, the disposition that people take, the question mark in my mind, this is how you go out. Man. This is how you allow the devil to do you. Mm. This is how you allow the devil to manipulate your mind. You allow you what you exhort it, what you talk, what you preach to others, amen, you will allow the very same thing to affect you. How dying as a fool die. By God, let me tell you something. This is something. Being careful. Amen. People that used to preach. Amen. Or people that used to, amen, uh, tell others, amen, of the healing power of God. Amen. And all of a sudden they leave out of here. Amen. Uh, stomachs uh, pumped with all type of medication. Mm -hmm. By God. Amen. When you exhorted others, when you told others, amen, what it meant to stand for divine healing. And now you yourself, amen, back up on it. And now you go and doing something completely contrary. And you want to die as a fool die? Lord. Mm. Die as a fool die? Amen. When you exhorted others, amen, on what it means to keep yourself chaste, keep yourself pure, amen, how not to, amen, entertain, amen, the opposite sex and get too close and get too frequent, amen, and now, amen, you yourself fall victim to it? How die a fool? Why would you die like a fool? Amen. And then we're not, that's not a, a word of, of, to, to uh, demean somebody. That word just means you should have known better. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. But God help us. We endeavor to die yes. as a righteous die. Amen. Not as a fool. That's why he got among those virgins. They were virgins. Mm -hmm. they, uh, those foolish, those five foolish virgins, they were still called virgins because they were still pure. Yeah. They, they, they had no defilement. They, they weren't out there on the dance floor. They weren't out there, amen, in the, in the nightlife. Amen. They weren't out there doing, amen, crazy things. No. Amen. They were still, amen, around the people of God. They were still in the church. But he still called them foolish virgins. Mm. Why? Because they knew if your lantern is going to stay lit, you know you need some oil. Right. Amen. 
right. You know you need oil to sustain your mantrip. But you're going to go to sleep, not have the oil that you need, wake up and expect somebody else to give you oil. And they said, we're not going to give you the oil because we won't have enough for ourselves. You go and buy for yourselves. And mm -hmm. when they went to buy for themselves, the Bible says, amen, the bridegroom came. They went right up to the door. Uh, open up to us, Lord. Open up to us. And the Lord said, no. Nope. Sorry, sorry. No. Nope. When you should have got things in order. When you should have dealt with some things. Amen. When that thing, amen. When, when, when that dark, when that situation came and pierced. Amen. You should have dealt with that thing immediately. But you let that thing metastasize. You let that thing grow. Amen. All of a sudden now, amen. You, you, you didn't have what it took to deal with it. And now... You're trying to say, oh, Lord, let me in. And Jesus said, I'm going to say it to them. I never knew you. Never knew you. Saints of God, we don't want to die as a fool die. As a fool die. As a righteous die. How does a righteous die? They die fighting a good fight. They die having finished their course. They die, amen, having kept the faith. Amen. And also, number four, we're about to read here, Revelation 2 and verse 8. They die as a faithful saint of God. Number four, they're faithful. Come on and read what does the Bible say. And unto the angel of the church of Smyrna write. Unto the angel of the church of Smyrna write. These things saith the first and the last. Yes. Which was dead and is alive. Which was dead and is alive. I know thy works. I know thy works. And tribulation. And tribulation. And poverty. And poverty. But thou art rich. All oh, saints of God. God knows what we're dealing with. God knows what you're going through. Amen. God, God knows when, when, amen, when, when others seem to be prospering, you feel like, Lord, I'm going through. I'm going through my personal situations. Amen. And when others, amen, uh, uh, out of the world are feeling good in their bodies, and, amen, you're feeling, amen, a little low in your body. Amen. God knows what we're going through, church. Don't get discouraged. Don't let, amen, the enemy try to wear you down, make you feel like it's only me going through what I'm going through. No. Rebuke that old devil. I know many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, he's going to have much? He says, but because you have me, you're rich. That's right. Thou art rich. Come on and read. 